Hello and welcome back to another edition of Delectably Different in the Kitchen and today we are going to be making a pumpkin pie alternative. So it is a ginger snap spice cream pie. <laughs> Started, we're gonna have eight ounces of, I'm choosing to use gluten-free ginger snap cookies, but if you're not gluten-free, you can use regular, but you want eight ounces ground up into like a coarse sand consistency. And we're gonna have a half cup of brown sugar, and then in our bowl, we have half a cup of a room temperature, slightly chilled uh, cubed butter. So we're gonna put this all together, and I'm choosing to use a 10 inch spring form pan. If you don't have one, you can just use a pie pan and you'll just have a little more crust but this is easier to pop it out. So let's get started. Okay, once you have your butter mostly coated with the crumbs and the brown sugar, we're gonna go in with clean hands and mush it all together, which is kind of fun. And then we're gonna press it in the bottom of the pan. So something I didn't mention is that we have our oven preheated to 350 because all we're gonna do is bake it in there for about 10 minutes just to kind of get it all to uh, bake together and then we're gonna put it in the fridge after that. All right, now that we have our crust all baked up and we have it in the fridge setting up, we're gonna be making the cream mixture. So we've done a little work and we have four egg yolks in the bowl here with a cup of heavy cream, one and a half cups of milk, and we're gonna just lightly whisk this together before we add in our spice blend. One thing that's really nice about this is this is a perfect base recipe for any type of cream, pastry cream that you wanna make. You would obviously just leave out the spice and the maple syrup, and then just add in some vanilla at the end. So again, we have our egg yolks, heavy cream, and milk whisked in. We're gonna be adding in a tablespoon uh, pumpkin spice blend. I went with that because there's a lot of people that in their kitchen they don't keep you know ginger and nutmeg and all of that so this is just something simple you just have to buy one ingredient and you'll have all those lovely autumn flavors and we're just gonna keep whisking this in. It can be a little stubborn at first but once you keep whisking it it gets all integrated into the milk. And voila! Now we're gonna be adding in two tablespoons of an organic maple syrup this just helps to enhance that nice autumn flavor. And we're just gonna whisk that a little bit. All right, simple. Now in our pan here, we have just a sprinkle of Himalayan salt. If you wanna be technical, it's about a fourth of a teaspoon, but it's more fun just to throw it in. We're gonna be adding to this two thirds cup of organic sugar, and we're gonna be adding in four tablespoons of a non-GMO cornstarch. And yes, you can find that. Just shop around or you can probably find a link on my blog, which I'll include. If not, if you don't want to use that, you can try using tapioca starch. I haven't made this recipe with that. So if you do, leave us a comment. Let us know how it goes. We'd love to hear. And the secret to this is we're going to just whisk this a little bit so that the sugar and the cornstarch is together. And we're going to be adding this in very small amounts because we don't want our cornstarch to get all goopy and clumpy and disgusting. So small amounts at first. And at first you probably will be like, oh no, it's clumping up. That's okay, it'll go away. Final tip, you'll find that a lot of the spice went to cling to the bottom of the bowl. So before you add in the final mixture, whisk it real good and pour it in fast. Otherwise you'll find a bunch of spice on the bottom and you've wasted part of your spice. All right, so now that we have our mixture put together, we're gonna put it on our oven and over medium heat, we're gonna just keep whisking this away and normally I would suggest putting on some nice music and you can sing along to it because this is a process where you have to have some patience while it starts to slowly heat up and thicken up and we will show you the consistency you are looking for when we get there.
for the past eight to 10 minutes. And you're gonna start seeing that it's thickening up nicely. What we wanna find is that if you've ever cooked cream of wheat, that you have a nice cream of wheat type texture. So this right here is starting to look nice. We're probably just gonna leave it on the heat for a little longer just to get it a little bit thicker. So don't worry if you're stirring it and it just doesn't seem to be thickening up at all because it will eventually just out of nowhere just thicken up like this. So. All right, thanks to Movie Magic and the fact that I made this last night, we don't have to wait for the cream we just made up to fully cool. We're just going to be using the one I made so you can see it's all nice and chilled and is perfect to add to our crust. So you're gonna find you have a, if you leave it overnight especially, you have just like this firm, delicious cream and you're just gonna be pressing this on top of the crust. And as you work with it, it'll warm up slightly to where you can actually spread it easily. So right now it's not as easy to spread, but once you keep working with it, it will be. And there you have it, a delicious ginger snap spice cream pie that we're gonna cut into and enjoy. That is an amazing pie. Great alternative to a pumpkin pie for your family. If you make this at home, please leave us a comment below and don't forget to click subscribe. Until next time.